I have been dreaming of doing this for years and I am so excited to finally make it happen. This is the story of how and why I'm living in a vehicle and traveling around the United States. I got a bus, what the heck? Oh man, all right, let me explain. First, hey, I'm Steve, and I'm not normal, at least to American society standards. Growing up in the United States, I've always felt a little bit of this pressure, a kind of expectation, a certain way to live your life. But I say, screw that. There's gotta be a better way. So that's what I'm doing now trying to take control and live life on my own terms, pursuing the things I perceive as important and exciting. So in this video, first, I want to explain the specific reasons why I'm living in this bus, and then I'll get into the exact details of how I turn this dream into a reality. So for a bit more context, when I was finishing college, I came to a point in my life where I had to make some pretty big decisions. I was 22 years old, and I landed my first big boy job at a marketing company. And I was really excited because I thought this is what I was supposed to be doing. But that excitement quickly wore off and all I could think about was travel. I remember sitting at my desk at work just fantasizing about travel. I wanted to go far, somewhere much different than where I grew up. Learn about new cultures, meet new people, try new foods, and just take control of my life to really feel alive and grow as a human. And I realized I had a choice. I could either stay on this path, climbing the corporate ladder, or choose to take a big risk and do something that I perceive as more exciting. Well, I chose to risk it. In 2017, I decided to get rid of most of my material possessions. I left that corporate marketing job and bought a one-way ticket to Southeast Asia. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man, I'm so excited. <laughs> I started this YouTube channel to document these experiences and share with others. And I'm so glad I did because now I have all these incredible memories to look back on. I spent a lot of time in other countries and it's been great, but now I want to spend some time exploring my home country. The United States of America is a fascinating place with tons of national parks and incredibly beautiful landscapes. So from a nature perspective, there's so much to explore. And beyond that, different regions of the US have unique cultures and different foods and cuisines and just things I want to go experience. And something that's been on my radar for a long time is the concept of van life. I've seen so many vehicles converted to living spaces, and to me, it's just so cool. I want to live in a van down by the river. It's such a common thing in America for people to retire and get an RV and travel around and explore. And frankly, I just don't want to wait until I'm 65 to do something like that. I want to do this while I'm still physically capable of strenuous activities, and I have the energy for long hikes and climbing mountains and stuff. And this is the land of the free and the home of the brave, right? I want to exercise that freedom. America. At this point in my life, I just don't want to be tied down to one place. And I love the idea of being able to take my home with me wherever I go. And another thing is eventually I would like to buy a house and have somewhere to live and call home. But I just don't know where that is right now. And America is a big place and I want to go find the best place for me to live. And this is one of those things that I kept telling myself, I'm gonna do that someday, and one day I'm gonna make that happen, and one day, one day, one day, and then I realized that if I really wanted to make this happen, I need to shift that perspective and stop thinking in the future and think in the present moment and take action and really make it happen. So I did. I decided I'm doing this. I'm doing van life. I'm gonna figure it out. And I started doing research and opened a huge can of worms trying to figure out how the hell do I make this happen. So my initial plan was to get an empty cargo van and convert it myself. And although I don't have any experience whatsoever, I've seen plenty of videos of people in my exact situation who were determined to make it happen. And although they had no experience, they pulled it off. And I'm also one to subscribe to the mindset that anything is possible and anything can be learned. And converting a van fits right in there. There are so many freaking mosquitoes out here, it's crazy, I gotta go. So my lack of experience actually wasn't the factor that held me back from building it myself. 
the real determining factor was the time. I knew I wasn't realistically able to commit the amount of time necessary to do this, and I was a little impatient. I wanted to get going ASAP, so I started looking at some other options. Vans that were already converted. <sighs> but <laughs> the issue here was the outrageous cost of used van conversions. Holy sh I think I saw hundreds of listings and everything available, but nothing really was within my price range for what I was looking for. So I set alerts for when new listings would be posted and I found one listing of a van that was like within 30 minutes of where I was. And I went to go take a look at it with my girlfriend, Alana, which by the way, I'm not doing this alone. I am with my girlfriend and I want to get a vehicle that can fit both of us. And so the journey begins we are doing some van shopping. We are going to see our first van ever, right now. How do you feel? I'm excited. Yes. I don't know what questions to ask. <laughs> we'll see, let's go check out this van. There was some guy who converted it himself. It had the nice like wood cabin vibe to it, but it was just small. The bed wasn't even long enough for me to lay long ways. So that was like immediate no-go but it was still good to get in motion and start looking at vehicles. And then I saw a listing pop up for a short bus. Not the one we have now, one that was actually a little bit smaller. And I got in contact with the owner. He converted it himself. It was nice. It looked really sleek and modern and something that I can, I, I like the style of it, but it wasn't built with the intention to live in it full time. It was more of like a weekend getaway camper. And I was talking with the guy who built that and he was telling me how he was about to go purchase a school bus directly from a local school district where he lived and his plan was to convert that himself with the intention of then listing it and selling it just like he did this previous bus. But he said, you know, you caught me at a perfect time because if you want, we can work together and you can customize your own build. And that was pretty interesting and that caught my attention. So like a week later he got the bus and he told me, hey, I got it if you want to come look at it. So the wheels of the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels of the bus go round and round all through the town. The wheels of the bus go The wheels of the bus go I got a good feeling about this one. Me too. How do you feel? I feel like we're getting a bus. Ooh, we just saw this bus. I don't want to just make any rash decisions because I'm too excited. But I am excited. Because this is the bus. <laughs> and like I said, I didn't want to make any impulsive decisions, but I gave it a few days to think about it. And after considering all my options, it just felt right. And I was so excited. So I said, you know what? I'm committing, I'm doing it. I called up Gabe and said, we're doing it. Let's customize this build together. Let's go. But that opened up a whole new can of worms because now we have to figure out what we're gonna build. And that was a lot of work. The second time at Gabriel's house, first time we were here, we were just looking at it and now we're back and this is our bus. It's official. But now we gotta pick out a color for paint. So what do you guys think? We got this 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 and this four options gabriel said we're picking between what are we doing army tank and booger <laughs> so there were a lot more decisions involved than just the color of the paint which i'm very happy with the way it came out i like this color but it's finished you want to see inside i'll give you a very quick sneak peek welcome to our tiny home on wheels this is the finished conversion I'm so happy with it. So if you want to see a full tour of this bus, I will be sharing a separate video where Alana and I walk through and explain everything that's going on here. But I just wanted to share this video to introduce you to a new chapter of my life that I'm very excited about and share the reasoning behind why I'm doing this and also a little glimpse into how we actually made this happen. And again, this would not have been possible without the help from Gabe with East Coast Campers. If you have any interest at all in doing something like this, I'll leave a link in the description to his website and his contact info. 
If you want to reach out to him, just say Steve sent you, and I'm sure he'd be happy to talk to you. Oh, man, I'm just so grateful to make this happen. It's been something I've been dreaming about for years, so to actually pull it off is incredible. Of course, this isn't permanent. I'm not going to be living in this forever. I don't even know how long this is going to last, but I just want to invite you on this journey to see what happens. We don't even know where we're going, and we don't know what's going to happen next, but we'll be sharing more videos. So if you want to join these adventures, then click that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this one, then click that like button because it really helps. Oh, well, like I said, next video is going to be tour of this bus, so stay tuned. That'll be coming soon. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Peace. We're here. There it is. Is it open? Can we open it? Yeah. Oh, let's see the reveal. Wow. Oh man, this is so nice. Wow. Welcome to our new home.